five things you need to remove from your house that is not supposed to be in your house five things you must not have in your house that will always bring bad luck to you five things we keep in our home that we know we are not supposed to keep yet we keep it for what exactly we even make you have nightmare even bad dreams ensure you remove these five things from your house you're going to see the difference yourself after removing these things so guys endeavor you share this video so it gets to everybody out there everybody have their place they stay in order for them to remove these things from their house and ensure you share this video to friends family loved ones this particular video must reach everybody almost all of us do this consistently endeavor to share it as you do that god bless you and as well subscribe turn on your notification bell that is the only way you'll be notified when there is a new upload on this channel after you must have subscribed okay make sure you share this video and give this video a like a thumbs up that is the best way to support this amazing video number one is spoilt work locks or spoilt watches or broken watches there's a lot of us that falls under this particular categories yes a lot of us falls under this particular category most of us have clocks that are not working in our house clocks work clocks even hand watch clocks that is not working in our house yet we just keep it for decoration probably because we like it or because the it is real or it's expensive we don't just want to trash it out and therefore you repair it immediately if you know you don't want to repair it please kindly trash it out don't just leave it stagnant like that when a clock is left stagnant it means a lot spiritually and i'm sure we are not here to start telling you the spiritual meaning of when a clock is not working in your house almost all of us falls under this particular categories and therefore once you see that the battery of the clock is dead or is no longer working and therefore you change it immediately if you also have the wrist watch you have on your on your hand make sure it's working don't wear any watch that is not working and you say because you want to use it for fashion it's expensive and therefore you repair it and also make sure it is clicking it is working don't let your work lock or your clock stop it does not mean where please the second thing is umbrella there's a lot of us that brings open umbrella inside our house you are not supposed to bring an umbrella open umbrella inside your house it has spiritual consequences whenever you have an umbrella you go out and there is rain or whatsoever and you have to bring the umbrella inside and therefore you make sure you shut the umbrella down you like you bring it down then bring it inside if you want to take it inside don't open your umbrella inside the house and just drop it to one place because most of us will do that and say because we want it to dry quick quick you will now open an umbrella inside the house and therefore you stop that immediately please and therefore i know some of you will say eh, what does this signify and therefore you stop this immediately if you're a type that does this stop it immediately then the third one is broken mirrors a lot of us have broken mirrors in our house if you have any mirrors that has broken that has chattered and therefore you trash it make sure you don't have any mirrors in your house that is not good and therefore you trash it do not have any mirror that is broken i don't need to tell you the importance of mirror in a house mirror simply means reflection a mirror can be used for a lot of spiritual work for those of you that know it can be used for a lot of things don't allow your mirror to be broken please it is always very easily accessible when your mirrors are broken for the evil ones to enter your house do not allow your mirrors to be broken if you must have a mirror in your house make sure it is not a broken one if it's broken my dear please kindly trash it out get a new mirror it mustn't be expensive one or even if it's normal mirror have it but make sure your mirrors are not broken please then the fourth one is broom most of us use brooms that we use outside inside our house my dear this is when i say is a bad one it is really a bad one whenever you have any broom that is being used outside yet you will carry from that outside and carry it inside and come and sweep your house it is not a good thing i don't need to tell you what brooms do spiritual to remove death from someone's house that is what it also does spiritually to remove death from your house then you now went to go and sweep outside outside problem and you will now carry it inside your house and sweep i don't need to but rest too much on it just this particular statement simply means you should understand my statement imagine you sweeping outside outside problem sweep everything from there you carry the same broom 
inside your house to sweep your inside my dear avoid that particular broom do not try it if you need brooms endeavor to get two brooms brooms are not expensive you can actually get two brooms you use one for outside use one for inside do not interchange that kind of broom you can interchange from inside get the one used from inside and keep outside permanently but do not try of bringing the one outside and interchange and put inside your house it is not done it doesn't work that way it doesn't work it doesn't work that way so also endeavor you can get two brooms use one outside use one inside make sure you don't sweep your house with outside broom. then the fifth one is unused clothes yes if you're having unused clothes unused things or rags things that you know that you don't need endeavor you give out to people that you know that needs it or keep it one place that is why sometimes some people have what they call store and some of people have it outside their house pack things that you know that you are not using outside do not put things that you know you are not using this why did you have it if you know it's not proper you are not using it you know that i don't need this then why did you have it you can as well gather all of them and, and do not keep in your home please especially rags things that are not meant to be in your house make sure you remove a sap number six this is a free tips endeavor and ensure not to use your clothes as rack ensure never to use your clothes as rack your children clothes you now turn it to rag because it starts torn you now want to use it as rag <laughs> my dear this particular thing you should not be found doing it if you are if you are into spirituality i don't need to even start explaining what it means don't use your children clothes to clean ground don't use your clothes to clean ground don't use your husband clothes or your brother or your sister clothes to clean ground you can get a separate rag use it to clean ground don't use clothes that you've worn as rag if you want to trash it out trash it out if you want to burn it burn if you want to do it do it but make sure you do not use it to start cleaning in your house please please ensure you follow these five rules and trust me you are going to see difference in your life i don't want to talk too much on this and therefore you share this video let it get to everybody friends family loved one almost everybody almost all of us falls under this category we used to do it so you will not say, hey, me, I don't used to do it to me, I don't used to carry on bread light, and hey, me, I don't have a watch that is not working, it is a lie. Endeavor you repair them, do not just keep it in your house like that, please. As you do this, God bless you. Remember to subscribe, if you have not subscribed, turn on your notification bell, so you'll be the first to be always notified when we have videos on this channel, okay? So guys, I'll see you on my next video. Bye, and remain amazingly and beautifully blessed.